Hey guys, North East Survival and Preparedness. I want to talk today about Vaseline. You heard me right, Vaseline. It's a surprisingly great item for survival. And I want to share some of the uses with you guys. And you know, before we get going, I just want to say I understand that videos like this are, are not very exciting at all. And we'd all love to see videos, you know, where we parade around our best guns and ammo and talk big tales of how tough we are and all that, but in reality, survival is uh, not about the guns. You know, it's not about the ammo. It's about these little things that will help keep you alive. And uh, Vaseline is one of them. And let's get into it. Um, first of all, we all know, pretty much anyone who has even the slightest interest in survival knows that Vaseline and cotton balls makes a very good tinder. So we'll get that right out of the way first. Let's talk about medicinal uses of this. Um, so much. I mean, so much to put into a quick video. Um, number one is you can use it to treat burns. You can use it to put on a wound to keep it dry. You can use it for um, chafing, chapped lips, diaper rash on a kid, diaper rash on an adult. Um, you can use it to protect and moisturize the skin. You can also use it, of course, in your hair. Um, in a shit hits the fan kind of scenario where you're not going to have access to public medicine, electricity, and whatnot, if you were to get a bad infestation of lice, which is very, very possible, you can you know grease your hair up with uh, Vaseline to help get rid of that. You know, I think it only takes maybe about 20 minutes of uh, Vaseline application to smother them. Um, one very good use. Um, where were we? Medical. Okay. Um, once again, good for burns. Good for healing. Um, you can use it to help with blisters, chafing, you're out walking in the woods, you're gathering food, you know, day after day after day, you don't have access to good hygiene and water. You're likely to get a lot of chafing. Vaseline's a great way to stop chafing and raw spots from com becoming worse. Um, many, many more. I know people use it, uh, you can put it under your nose to help catch pollen. If you have uh, allergies, just, you can Google, um, the medicinal uses of Vaseline. There's way too many to go over in this video. Um, let's go on to kind of the industrial uses. Um, Vaseline works as a waterproofer. You can actually, uh, if you have like a flashlight, put it on without an O-ring. You don't want to put it on the O-ring because it'll degrade the O-ring. But if you have a flashlight that's not waterproof, you can, uh, a little tongue tied here, guys, um, put Vaseline on the threads and that will help waterproof a flashlight or any other piece of gear that you're looking to waterproof. Um, I know you can also use it on your clothing to do some waterproofing, but that's really messy. Um, big thing, if you're out in the cold, and you gotta remember guys, in a survival situation, your AR-15 isn't gonna do you any good if you have frostbite and your face melts off. <laughs> you know, so, Vaseline is a great item because you can protect your skin from the elements from uh, if you're in the desert You know you can use it and it will help you protect you from sand You know if there's sand that's irritating your skin or windburn it can protect you from uh, the cold if you're in a colder climate It's a very good uh, Protection for yourself and you got to remember that the main thing that kills people in survival situations is exposure to the elements and uh and I'd like to imagine in a, you know, grid down, shit has a fan scenario, that's going to be the same. People are going to die because of the elements. You know, if you don't have heat, electricity, and all that, you're going to be constantly exposed to the cold. You're not going to have access to uh, showers and water. You're going to have to really take care of your body. And in, in the end, you know, you could die very simply of an infection that you didn't take care of, where a simple application of Vaseline might have, you know, saved your life, so... It's kind of, you know, it's kind of a important thing to have and we ignore it and that's one of the downfalls about prepping is we tend to look at the exciting stuff and ignore the little stuff. And I wanted to point this out because there's just so many uses. Um, another use that just came to mind is you can use this to uh, prevent things from rusting. Um, you can put it on a knife or any kind of outside equipment that you can put on it will uh, because it has oils that will uh, protect it from rusting and just... Too many guys, Google it, look it up. So much you can do with this stuff, and I just wanted to point it out because 
like I said, it's not always fun in games. Sometimes, you know, you gotta buy things like this. You gotta buy, I buy them these little ones, these little size ones. We have a couple of the big tubs in our linen closet. And then I have a couple of these laying around. I think I got, you know, I keep them in the car. That way if like my car ever breaks down in the winter, I don't have to worry about getting like frostbite or anything like that. Um, plus, you know, you can use it as a fire starter too, so. It's good, you know, it's a good thing to have. Put it in your car, put a couple in your pantry, throw one in your bug out bag. And you can get the little tiny, like single, you know, tiny travel tubes up to the big gigantic jug. So you can do quite a bit with it. And uh, I haven't found a recipe yet, but I'm really interested. If someone has one, <coughs> please share. Um, I've heard about Vaseline candles that can be used for a survival situation. So guys, if you have anything on that, send it my way. I'd definitely love to see it and uh, hope you guys enjoy